hello guys and welcome back again to my channel all right so this is a single face motor but as you can see there are six terminals and if we have to connect single face supply to this motor there is a way we have to interconnect all these six terminals to make it work and that is exactly what i'm going to show in this video all right so in this single face motor there is a capacitor and then there are two windings the two windings are labeled u and v so as you can see we have u1 here and then we have u2 here then we also have an auxiliary winding the beginning of that is labeled v1 and the end of that um, auxiliary winding is labeled v2 now you can see c1 here and then c2 here so c1 is one end of the capacitor and then the c2 here is the second end or the second lead of the capacitor all right so now we have single phase supply that is life and neutral that will power this motor but how are we going to interconnect the six terminals to make the motor work all right let's look at this so first of all there is a simple thing you have to understand to make this connection very easy all right so as much as possible i'm going to give an explicit explanation so you can be able to easily connect this to supply by yourself so I, I said that we have a main winding which is u1 and u2 then we also have an auxiliary winding which also ends here then we have the capacitor leads c1 and then c2 here so the first thing we have to understand is that the auxiliary winding is connected from the main winding so there is a common point between the beginning of the main winding and then the beginning of the auxiliary winding okay so here we would have to bridge these two together okay u1 v1 so that's the first thing we are going to do we bridge u1 and then v1 so this is u1 and v1 all right, so our first line connects to U1 like this. Okay, so this is live and that connects to U1. U1 is already linked with V1. Okay. All right, so now we are left with the two connections from the capacitor and then the ends of the main and auxiliary windings. Okay, so simply, this is what we are going to do one of the capacitor connection will be linked with the end of the main winding and then the other end of the capacitor will be linked with the end of the auxiliary winding okay so c1 to u2 so we are connecting one end of the capacitor to the end of the main winding and then again we'll connect the other terminal of the capacitor to the end of the auxiliary winding like this okay so now we are left with neutral okay so our final connection to make our single piece motor work is the connection of the neutral and our neutral comes to c1 okay all right so we have live and neutral and this is how the terminals are supposed to be connected so here if i switch on the supply now our motor will start working all right so let's switch on the power so simply this is how to wire a single phase motor that comes with six terminals like this usually these connections i have done are normally done most of the times these connections i have done externally are usually done inside the motor and then only two provisions will be made for connection to live and neutral but actually the various windings that are connected together and brought out are actually six and if you have to arrange all these six connections by yourself this is how you go about it all right so in the next video i'm going to show how to connect a three-phase motor that comes with six terminals so stay tuned and let's learn together thank you very much for watching this video please if this is your first time kindly do well to subscribe 
And if you have learned something useful from this video, kindly share with your friends and give it a thumb up. Thank you very much again. See you in the next video.